So it's 2023 and you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, huh? Maybe you saw a meme from the anime and had a nostalgia trip, or you got an ad for that new Master Duel game. Or maybe you're just here because YouTube said so. If so, welcome to the channel. We make Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Please subscribe. Okay, moving on. You probably remember having Yu-Gi-Oh cards or watching the show as a kid, but you've got no idea how to actually get back into it today. Well, you're in the right place because I'm going to tell you every single way you can play Yu-Gi-Oh today from the physical card game to all the different video games and what you need to know for each one. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention, Yu-Gi-Oh! celebrating its 25th anniversary this year, so there's really no better time to jump in. So the most obvious option is actually playing the physical trading card game. Yes, it still exists, and it pretty much works how you'd expect. You can go to your local Walmart or Target, buy some packs, open them up, and see what you get. There's also game stores, but I'll get to those in a bit. Now, you might be overwhelmed when you see all the different Yu-Gi-Oh! products you can buy right now, so here are my personal recommendations. If you want a pre-built deck you can use Use right out of the box, grab a structure deck. The ones you'll probably see on the shelf right now are Albaz Strike, Legend of the Crystal Beast, Dark World, and Beware of Trap Tricks. They're all good options, so you can pretty much pick whatever looks the coolest to you, but I'd say the two easiest ones to learn are Dark World and Trap Tricks. Structure decks, one copy will let you start playing, but I'd recommend picking up three of a kind so you can put the best cards in them together for a more consistent strategy. Oh yeah, we've actually played with all these different structure decks in videos on our channel, so if you want to see them in action, just check those out. On the other hand, if you want to open random Yu-Gi-Oh packs, then the two newest ones right now are called Darkwing Blast and Photon Hypernova. These are the sets that release entirely new cards and strats to the game, plus some cards to update older decks too. For example, Darkwing Blast came out late last year and introduced two new themes called Bestials and Kashdira to the game, but it also gave us support for Black Wings, an older deck you might remember from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds anime. You get nine cards per pack and most of them will be common, but you also have a chance to pull something shiny. If you've played Yu-Gi-Oh! before, then you're probably used to seeing super rares, ultra rares, or secret rares, but Konami's actually made a new super hard to get card called Starlight Rares. They're only about one in 600 packs, so you have to get lucky, but they're worth a lot of money and that's kind of what makes the pack opening experience so much more exciting. If you want to play physical Yu-Gi-Oh, then you need an actual place to play, huh? You could just play at home with friends, but there are actually card shops that usually host weekly Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. The exact times and dates vary depending on the location, and speaking of location, you can actually go on the official Yu-Gi-Oh! website to find the nearest one in your area. Playing casually each week for fun is perfectly fine, but if you do want to test your skills, Konami also hosts regional Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments where you'll face stronger players and compete for invites to the yearly national championship. You can find the dates and locations for all these on the official website too. Let's say you want a way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! without all the hassle of keeping physical cards or driving to shops. Lucky for you, there's a few options. I'll start with Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. It's a mobile game you can get on iPhone or Android or even PC that lets you play Yu-Gi-Oh! with a twist. The duel field is smaller with only three zones instead of the usual five. You start the duel with 4,000 life points instead of 8,000 and the decks are 20 to 30 cards instead of 40 to 60 like in a real card game. Duel Links also has a smaller pool of cards to pick from with most of the newer and stronger strategies in the real life game being nerfed or removed entirely. Something else unique about Duel Links is that it focuses on the characters you know from the different Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series. From Yugi, Joey, and Kaiba all the way to newer characters like Yuya or Playmaker, they're all here complete with different expressions and voice lines to spice up the duels. And that isn't all they do. Each character has different skills that you can use in the duels too. These skills might enhance your ace monster with a new ability, start the duel off with a certain field spell active, or even let you draw a powerful card when you're about to lose the duel. Lots of iconic monsters from the anime even get special 3D sequences when you summon them, which really brings the game to life. You can play the basic game modes and duel against other players online, but there's also special anime-inspired events that change the rules. For instance, there's turbo duels based on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, where you accumulate speed counters each turn by summoning monsters or attacking, and you lose speed counters when your monsters are destroyed. You can spin the speed counters to draw more cards or summon more monsters, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. All this is to say, Duel Links is a really cool way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I recommend it most to people who are fans of the anime, or anyone who just wants a quick, easy way to get their Yu-Gi-Oh! fix without too much commitment. And that brings us to the third major way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! today. 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. The game came out last year on basically every major gaming platform, and I like to describe it as a kind of mix between Duel Links and the physical card game. You get the perks of playing a digital Yu-Gi-Oh! game, like having an account with all your decks and playing online against other players. But unlike Duel Links, Master Duel uses the full game board and rules, plus a much larger pool of cards that's almost the same as the physical game. So you get to enjoy some cold, hard Yu-Gi-Oh! Of course, you can play Master Duel online against other players in a ranked or unranked mode, and there's limited time events every month or so with deck building restrictions like only being able to use fusion monsters or Xyz monsters, or only using one copy of each card in your deck. There's even a bit of single player content where you can learn about the strategies and the lore of different deck themes. As far as presentation goes, I really can't say enough about Master Duel. You can customize your game with different card sleeves and your own mate like Scapegoat or Sangin that sits by your field. All the different dual fields look great. Boss monsters get animated full screen intros. Staple cards like Harpy's Feather Duster and Monster Reborn have unique 3D animations. And that's all before we even talk about the music. I truly cannot overstate just how good this game's soundtrack really is. The orchestrated songs change when key monsters get played or when your life points are low and it all combines to make playing Yu-Gi-Oh just feel really epic. Sorry, I had to dote in this game for a bit, I, I really do love it. But Master Duel isn't without its downsides. Even though the game emulates real-life Yu-Gi-Oh pretty well, it uses its own slightly different Forbidden and Limited card list, which changes the type of strategies you'll see. Card pool still isn't quite as big as the physical card game either, so you'll usually have to wait a few months for new cards to get added to the game after they come out in real life. And some people don't like that the game doesn't let you play best two out of three duels with side decking like the physical card game, but personally I don't mind this that much. Basically all these things combine to make Master Duel feel slightly different than the real life game, but I'd still strongly recommend it to anybody who wants to enjoy the full Yu-Gi-Oh experience from the comfort of their home. It doesn't have the anime appeal that Duel Links does, and the game does have a bit more of a learning curve to it, but it's still an accessible way to play the game and look good doing it. Now, one super important thing I feel like I should mention about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Master Duel is that while both games are technically free to play, they do have a paid currency system you can use to get the cards you want more quickly. You can definitely enjoy these games without actually spending money, but the option is there, so be aware and maybe careful if you're a whale. All right, now before we finish up, I do want to quickly mention a few other miscellaneous ways to play Yu-Gi-Oh! First, two more video games. Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel is a new mobile game that reimagines Yu-Gi-Oh! as a four-player battle royale. Players put monsters on different lanes and move them across the battlefield to attack each other. The gameplay in Cross Duel is very unique and takes some getting used to, so it's not really for everyone, but it's still Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's worth checking out at least once, just to see if it's your cup of tea. There's also Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. It's an older game from 2019 with a story mode that recreates the different character duels from each of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series. Unfortunately, the card pool and graphics are both pretty outdated compared to newer games like Master Duel. Oh, I almost forgot another video game. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel Dawn of the Battle Royale on the Nintendo Switch. It's based on the newest TV show Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. The rules are kind of like Duel Links with the smaller fields and less life points, but with two big differences. You can summon as many monsters as you want every turn, and you get to draw a whole new hand at the start of each turn. The cards in Rush Duel are completely unique from the actual trading card game, and it's targeted to a younger audience, but it's still another way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Konami also gave the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG an alternative format called Speed Duel. It's basically a real-life version of Duel Links with the same simplified rules and skill cards. Speed Duels are perfect for beginners, and Konami even sells the products as box sets that you can open and play with friends. We've actually made our own house tournaments with these in videos before, so if you want an idea of how that works, you can check those out too. And since modern Yu-Gi-Oh! can be a bit overwhelming with its powerful decks and long combos, some players prefer to just go back in time and play older formats from the game's history. The most popular one is called Goat Format which replicates Yu-Gi-Oh!'s card pool and format from 2005 and got its name from the importance of the card Scapegoat. It's a much slower paced way to play with more emphasis on resource management and strategy. And finally, if you're more serious about the real life card game and want a way to practice with new decks online, there are two unofficial fan-made options. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro is a downloadable program that simulates the game similar to Master Duel, and Dueling Book is actually a website where you manually place your cards and declare your effects. They're both completely free and give you full access to the TCG card pool, so they're great for the hardcore competitive types. One last fan-made Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator I almost forgot about is Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega. 
It's a program you have to download, and it's basically a lot like Dueling Book and EDO Pro. Really great production value and just one more way to play. All right, that's it. That's the video. Hopefully this helps anyone who wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2023 and beyond. No matter how you go about it, this game is a lot of fun, so I hope you all have a good time.